Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this Tau Commission completion video. An awesome, awesome force. Uh, really cool colorway, as you can see from this dark, stealthy gray and yellow. Uh, it's been completed by Amy, one of the artists here at Siege. Uh, we're going to have a look at this awesome project in more detail when we're back in a second. But if you're new to the Siege Studios YouTube channel and you don't know what Siege is, we're a full service commission miniature painting service based in the United Kingdom with a team of 28 painters that all paint from an above tabletop level all the way up to competition level. Uh, if you are interested in the quote with us, then very simply what we need to do is head to the link in the description of this video, which takes you directly to our website. Uh, and there you can complete a contact form on the contact tab, fire that off to us uh, and get the process started. Uh, let's dive in on these models and this awesome force. We'll be back in a second. So first up, as always, we have all the HQs and command models from this awesome stealth tower, as I'm going to call it, army commission. Uh, we've got Dark Strider, two Ethereals, two Kadra Fireblades, and one XB-85 commander. Uh, now, the commander is magnetized, so he has got every weapon option loadout, plus a couple of extra bits. Uh, and then, obviously, the standard characters are the standard characters. Really, really cool models. Uh, we'll start with Dark Strider. You don't really see him too often, if I'm honest. He's a, he's a really, really cool model. And if I can just get it to focus for you guys. There we go. Uh, really, really cool model. All the lenses there you can see fully picked out in a lovely kind of fitted bodysuit with some armor panels, as you can see here, in this lovely gray scheme. Uh, but all the accent details are fully picked out and fully highlighted. We've got every aspect of detail painted on the model as well, which is really cool. The lovely facial details on that tree traditional sort of bluish skin tone on the towel. Uh, even the tiny little lenses and lights on the body armor are all picked out and painted as well, which is really nice. So that's just Dark Strider. He's obviously a fine cast model as well, which is really cool. So that's him. We've then got two ethereals. Now these could either be metal or they could be fine cast, but these are fine cast versions. You've got obviously all the areas of detail are fully highlighted on these guys, all the gems and lenses on the little intricate bobs, bits of uh, sort of uh, sort of accents and things are all picked out and painted on the haft of the thing. All the little gems are done, every little detail fully highlighted and picked out here. So that's just one of the ethereals, which is really cool. Uh, we've got a very classic ethereal model, one of my favourite ethereal models. Again, he's got these two kind of like pointy stick things, <laughs> um, but all the gems and little lenses are all picked out on here this dude as well again really really simple model but lovely lovely lots of uh, detail on him as well which is really cool uh, so that's just lovely that's just that ethereal then we've got two Kadra fire blades uh, really cool model again very dynamic in the sense of its pose he's bounding forward with that knife aloft as well just to show that he's bonded or that he's gonna bond someone <laughs> you've got this flowing cape here with all the detail on him and all the contrast added to it as well nicely really cool grace or stealth scheme as well as i mentioned but every lens on all the guns uh, all the areas of little lights and things on armor power points on armor are all painted as well so that's just that one and then much exactly the same on the other Kadra fire blade just to show that consistency from model to model again you've got all those details all fully and cleanly picked out on these guys as well so that's just him and then finally we'll pull forward the commander suits again a really really cool model i do like a lot of the new suits that have been made recently you've got these awesome weapon loadouts with the glowing aspects of energy and that's the same on every other weapon that has got that we've got on the uh, plasma and on the uh, the versions and these are all magnetized so they do just clip onto the model as you can see uh, but every little lens and light all picked out i do love the two-tone scheme and the yellow and the gray i think it just works really really well again all the little lights and gems all fully picked out and painted as well which is great we've got these little bits of uh, markings there on top of the on top of the command head there as you can see and I like the two-tone aerials on the helmet as well. And the fact that the, the helmet is black, not grey as well, just adds that extra little colourway and marries up with the rest of the armour panelling on the weapons as well, which I think is quite cool. Uh, so that's just the commander. So there are all the characters and command models from this awesome Tau Force. Up next, we're going to have a look at the broadsides and the, uh, the uh, sniper teams as well. Uh, they're really cool. They're back in a second to have a look at those in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So up next, we have the broadsides and the two sniper teams. Uh, really cool models of sniper teams. Don't really see them very often. It's nice to have a commission that's got them in because I think they're really cool uh, and add a little bit something different to a Tau army as well, which is great. Look at the broadsides first up. Obviously, broadsides, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen broadsides before. Uh, but again, same consistent colour scheme throughout. We've got all the missiles in a lovely complementary white there, all the lenses and gems everywhere picked out. And you can see there underneath the missile arms. These are all fully magnetised for our client as well because the both weapon options 
options are available in this commission for our clients. You've got, again, that lovely uh, complimentary yellow and gray scheme, which is really cool. We've got the energy glow here in that reactor on the back of the, of the uh, broadside as well. And just to show you the, uh, the magnetizing on these, obviously the arms just come off of the model. Uh, and then we have the rail gun here, as you can see, and that just magnetizes directly onto the model. Uh, so you can literally use the rail gun on the suits as well. Uh, really cool weapon. I do like the missiles uh, just because that way you can see the full art chest as well on the model. I think it's cool, but the railgun just magnetizes on there as you can see as well. Very quick and easy to do and interchangeable for our clients uh, just so they can choose the weapon option prior to games. But yeah, really, really cool models. And that's just the broadside. The other two are exactly the same, uh, but I will pull them forward because this one has a different head, as you can see there with a much bigger lens, which is really nice. But all the little lights and things all picked out all, the, all fully edged there, as you can see in a really, really clean fashion. Uh, which is really nice and then i'll grab the last one just so he's not feeling left out and then you can see all the lenses and everything on these guys on all the arms every bit of edging done on every aspect of armor paneling as well and that lovely reactor glow on the back as well and then let's have a look at these cool sniper teams you've got the sniper commander here just getting that to focus so you can have a look at him again looking through this uh, lovely bit of apparatus here with his uh, pistol and holster all painted there as you can see all the little lenses and everything done uh, again all the little light buttons and everything painted so just get that to focus again properly for you so you can see the little lenses and gems on his wrists on the top of the sniper shooting command thing and like the fact that the yellow complements as well you've got the yellow on the shoulder guard and also on the uh, on the area of it as well which is nice so that's just him and then same again on the other one just pull him so you can see exactly the same consistency exactly the same quality so that's him and then let's have a look at some of these awesome sniper drones really different i love the little stabilizer fins i think they're cool we've got the lens there on the top picked out and same with the accents in accenting lenses round so you can see all the way around him uh, really really cool again all that yellow fin done in the yellow complementary colorway of the army, but you've got all the fins and everything all fully picked out and edged as well. I love the little ammo hoppers on the back as well, or the stabilizers or weights or whatever they are, but um, they're really, really cool. Uh, and the same on the rest of all the drones. I won't pull forward every single one because they are all the same. And uh, again, really, really cool models though. All right, so that's just another one from the, from the team here on the left. Uh, and that is the uh, broadsides and also the sniper teams from this awesome stealth towers, I call it, K uh, commission. So yeah, back in a second to have a look at the two big boys of the Force plus some shield drones. We have the Yvaras coming up next. Stick around, they're up shortly. And last up, we have the two Yvara battle suits. Awesome models, Forge World models, really, really cool. Uh, they are great in how destructive they are on the table, and they are super cool with their weapon loadouts as well. Um, we've also got some shield drones just flanking. Um, just I wanted to show those off and complete the commission video with those guys as well. So we'll pull forward these uh, Yvaras just so you can have a look at them. Really cool. Amy's done a stellar job on painting all the details on these and giving that lovely glow on the um, on the energy weapon there, as you can see. And uh, you've got this flamer, plasma flamer here that's obviously got a bit of burning mark on it as well and that nice trans transition of color on there as well from blue to purple to black um I specifically love these little screens and things that Amy's put attention to detail in, which is something that you'd expect from us. Uh, you get extra little bits of work on the models to really give uh, you know, a story to the models and add that real real life aspect to them. But all the lenses and everything here, as you can see, all fully picked out and painted, uh, which is really nice. Moving around, you got all the little lights on the side of the guns there done. You've got a lovely glow on the weapon and every edge all fully picked out and painted there, as you can see. Uh, even the little like, light or lens there on the top has been done as well, just to add that attention to detail. Uh, so this is just the first of the two Yvaras, just getting that to look at that, uh, the, the, the head there, as you can see, the nice, lovely, lovely lens effect on those. Uh, and again, you've got lovely accents of yellow complementary color all over the model, just to really add that colorway to these uh, these awesome tail. The glow in the barrel there, as you can see, and also on the gun, which is really, really nice. So that's just that one. Uh, and I'll pull forward the other one, because it's exactly the same, slightly different pose, obviously, but you can just see that again. You've got obviously all the screens and everything picked out, all the lenses, as I've mentioned, uh, but same consistent approach when it comes to us painting models for you. So you'll get a lovely finish on every model in your army. Uh, so that's just this Yvara. And then we'll finish off with the little friendly helpers. Just a couple of shield drones, just so you can have a look at these. And I'll get that to focus for you. So you can see all the lenses done on those as well, with point of light source and multiple blends on all of those. You've got the aerials, lovely complementary colour there, of the yellow and the grey. And as you can see on the ones in the in the in the behind this one, you can see they vary in whether it's the left or the right one that's been painted in the yellow, just to vary it up and help distinguish them on the tabletop for you guys. Uh, so there you go. That's just one of the shield drones. They're all the same. 
So that's the heavy hitters of the force, the two Yvaras. Really cool models, super, super aggressive in game. Uh, and I'm sure if you use them and know them, you can put in the comments how horrid they are. They're really, really cool. Uh, so we're gonna come back in a second to have a look at the army all again in all its glory. Stick around, that's coming up next. See you guys back in a second. So thanks for checking the video out guys, really appreciate it ever so much and I do hope you like this awesome, I'm going to call it Stealth Tower Commission, uh, just because of the elusive colour, really really cool colourway. I know that Amy had a great time working on them and uh, really enjoyed the project. If you are interested in commissioning with us here at Siege then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where there's a link to our contact form on our website. Complete the contact form by selecting the relevant drop down options for your project and then in the message section send us a list of models in our format which is shown above the message section. Uh, once you hit the send button that will come into us and we'll get the quote sorted for you and come back to you accordingly. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching the video guys, I really really appreciate it. Do go give us a quick follow on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Go like and follow those pages respectively because we do loads of updates on all of those platforms and while you're here on YouTube do us a Big favour, give us a thumbs up firstly on the video. Secondly, if you're not a subscriber, then you should really become a subscriber to keep up to date with all the awesome forces and content that we put out on this channel. And uh, if you like Tao, what's your favourite model? Let us know in the comments. Really, really appreciate chatting to you guys and hope to see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye. I want to make sure that you guys have an accessible way to get hold of skills and new techniques and develop yourselves as painters. And that's it really guys, so thank you very much and we hope you'll, uh, you'll join us on Patreon.